On today's adventure, we're going into Dollywood Theme Park for a sneak peek tour of the new Dolly Parton Experience. You'll be able to see what it's like inside this new area, whether you're a die-hard Dolly Parton fan or just looking for a place to cool off this summer, as we go over how long you could expect to spend inside the song teller and behind the scenes buildings, as well as highlight other things that are coming to the Dolly Parton Experience. So we are officially in the park and you can see the Dolly Parton Experience over here to the right. But with our preview, we're actually gonna be entering just down the street a little bit further, but just wanna give you a look at this new sign right here. This will be opening up as the sign says here on Friday, May 24th, you'll be able to walk down this bridge to the right. But again, let's walk down a little bit further and go into the designated entrance. So from the Market Square area over here, we're gonna go down this bridge to get to the Dolly Parton Experience entrance for today. So they've got the walls officially down. You can see Dolly's tour bus over to the right. So let's get checked in here as diamond pass holders. So when you first walk in from this side, they have moved Dolly Parton's original tour bus over here to the right. It's not open at the moment, but it will be just like it was when it was over in this corner over here, as far as you'll wait in a line and they'll let so many people in on the bus at a time. If it's a rainy day, you might not be able to hop on the bus, but if the weather is good, you can wait in line and tour Dolly's bus. Somebody will be in there to help answer some of your questions. You can see what was Dolly's closet, which was a store right here, which is now behind the scenes, which is Dolly's life and rhinestones. We'll go check that out after we head over here to the left to check out what was the original Dolly Parton Museum. I'm not able to do any video inside this building today, but I'm able to walk through and I'm gonna show you some photo highlights of what the inside is. Next weekend, I'll be doing a full video tour of what it's like on the inside. This is the Song Teller building where you'll journey through Dolly's life and iconic career, service animals will be permitted, special effects, strobe lighting and flashing may be in use, and they also will have manual wheelchairs available and power wheelchairs with control column and armrest are permitted. When you first walk in, there's a big picture of Dolly. It has lots of information on the early life of Dolly Parton, as well as seeing a replica of her coat of many colors. And then you go into a room it makes you feel like you're on a tour bus. They've got all sorts of luggage up on the top with some different wording along the top. This is a really cool room to just come in here and sit. Then you go to a room where it talks about the Portner Wagner show. It's got two dresses and a wig that Dolly once wore. Then as you turn the corner, you come into Dolly's variety shows, which has a really cool swing in the corner that kids are gonna love taking photos. And I love this giant TV. And there are a number of other dresses and wigs that I'll be going into more detail on our next video, including some other outfits that she's also worn. And they have another great photo opportunity with a nine to five desk and a TV up on the wall showing some different scenes of movies that Dolly has been in. Then you continue into a hallway where you can see a number of different guitars that Dolly Parton has played through the years. Next, you get to a huge room where there's a Dolly Parton guitar, and it has a show where there's an area that you can all stand and kind of watch and you see a number of platinum records or gold records up on the wall and then you go into another room with tons of photos and there's a show that you're able to go into it starts every six minutes in the next room the room you go into to watch the six minute show is very large it's wide open and it's really neat that there's projection on every single wall so you're surrounded by the story of Dolly starting out as a little girl and rising to the icon she's become. The temperature is very cool in this room so you can come cool off on a hot summer day. As you exit the large six minute movie room, you come to the last room, which highlights some of the different things that Dolly has done and giving through the years, including her imagination library and a counter on the wall of how many books 
have been gifted through this program. So there's a quick look at the Song Teller building behind me. Just a few highlights. Next week, I plan to come back and give you a full video tour. So if you're new here to our channel, make sure you are subscribed if you'd like to see a video tour of what it's like on the inside. I'll go into a little more detail of the different items that we just flew by. So I will say that it has a lot less items as far as different dresses and memorabilia, but overall, I do like that it's much more open and it's all on one level. I do recall back in the day when I did go into the old museum, I feel like there was a second floor that you'd climb stairs to get up to. So this is a much more open and accessible uh, museum highlighting the life of Dolly Parton. Next, I wanna do a quick walkthrough behind the scenes where you'll be able to explore a curated selection of Dolly's signature style. Now again, I can't film inside this building, but I'll go over a couple different photo highlights as you walk into behind the scenes. It's just a big open area. You can walk to the right or to the left and go at your own pace. They have a number of different dresses that Dolly has worn through the years as well as a number of different wigs that she's worn. So you can just kind of mosey around and read about each dress and the process it takes for Dolly to develop her unique look. It has an area that I know Brie will like a lot, going over Steve Summers' process of developing her dresses. It's got a sewing machine and all sorts of fabric and sewing elements everywhere, which Brie loves to sew so this is probably going to be her favorite area i'm not big on fashion so this is an area i might not linger too long in but i will say it was really neat to see her big bear mountain opening dress that we were able to be a part of back in 2023 as far as kids this is probably one of the neatest areas for them to sit and pretend to be in dolly's dressing room and sit in front of the mirror so this is a great photo opportunity inside behind the scenes. So there are a few photo highlights of behind the scenes, which was formerly a retail store called Dolly's Closet. Again, next week, I'll be able to go into a little more detail as far as video inside. And right over here, you have the Dream Song Theater, which at this point in time, they're still working on the inside. So there's nothing I can show you inside the Dream Song Theater today but they're revamping the queue to go in before watching a show. So next week is when I plan to go inside and show you what it's like. And the other thing I wanna point out is over here on this corner, they used to have time saver passes right next to the Dream Song Theater. They have a sign out for Dolly's Fan Shop, which is closed off today, but perhaps will be open on opening day so we'll be able to go inside and show you some of the merchandise in here as I know some people might be sad that Dolly's closet is no longer in existence. I'll also try to go over what different things will be going on in this area throughout the different seasons that they might utilize over in this part of the park where the Dolly Parton experience is. I also wanted to point out there used to be a door over here to the right for Dolly's Closet, which is no longer in existence. You just go through the front entrance around the corner here if you want to go into behind the scenes. Another question you might be wondering is, well, how long would it take to go through both of these two experiences I just highlighted for you? I would say to go in the Song Teller building would be about 30 minutes from the time you get in until you come out, you could spend as long as you want. So it could be for the hardcore Dolly fan up to about two hours. And for the behind the scenes, uh, I mean, for me, I could see myself popping in and out in like 10 minutes, but it's just kind of up to you how long you wanna stay. It's one quick entrance over here to the right and you just leave whenever you want. So hopefully this little highlight video gives you an idea of how long you should anticipate hanging out in this area. And when it comes to the different shows that are occurring here at the Dream Song, again, we'll try to highlight the new queue and some of the shows that will be happening in this theater on our next tour video. But it is starting to rain and there is a quick overview of the new Dolly Parton experience. Hope you found this video helpful, enjoyable. If you did, just do us a huge favor and simply like this video and again, make sure you are subscribed if you'd like to see a more detailed video next week 
of the Dolly Parton experience, which I'll put a link to down in the pinned comment if you're watching after next week. But I'm gonna go find my girls that are off on a roller coaster somewhere in the park, but thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.